Style with a Smile is filmed before a live studio audience. Hi, I'm Jonathan Fong, and welcome to Style with a Smile. Let's face it, I'm a decoupaging fiend. The first thing I ever decoupaged was my kitchen. My kitchen cabinets were all white and they were really boring. So I decoupaged them all with Andy Warhol posters and now the kitchen really pops. Another thing I love to decoupage is dining room chairs. In my house, all the dining room chairs are decoupaged with fine art prints. So I have a Picasso, a Renoir, a Monet, and you have not experienced fine dining until you sat on a Picasso. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to decoupage a dining room chair. Now first, let's talk chairs. The best type of chair to use for decoupage is a bent wood chair with a flat surface, very much like this one. This is actually the first chair I ever decoupaged. It's with Munch's scream on it. And he's screaming, help, help me, help me. Somebody's gonna sit on me. <laughs> But the chair that I really love to decoupage with is this one from Ikea. The reason I really love this chair is because it comes in two sections that you have to assemble. And you know at Ikea you have to assemble everything. <laughs> but because it comes in two sections, you can decoupage like one piece at a time and then put them together. And for a lot of people that's a lot easier than decoupaging an entire chair all at once. Next, let's talk artwork. You'll need a poster that will cover the surface area of your chair. This chair is about 35 inches long by 18 inches wide, so you'll need a poster that's about 18 by 35 inches. I shop online for my posters, so I get a wide variety of artists and styles, and also online it'll tell you what dimensions the posters are, so you'll get exactly the right size. Here's a poster that I got online from the artist Tamara de la Pinca. It's the perfect size for us. It's a little bit larger than we need, but it's okay because we'll just be trimming it out to the right size. Notice that this fine art poster is very thick, and this type of paper is really good for decoupage. So this is the IKEA chair that we're working with. It comes in these two sections. So let's start decoupaging. You're gonna love this. First, let's cut the poster so it fits onto the chair. And to do this, we need to make a template with this sheet of white paper. And what you do is just put the piece of paper over the chair and rub the edge with a pencil, just like that, to trace the outline of the chair. See how ultra scientific this method is? <laughs> you know, if you get like these extra lines around, it doesn't matter. We're just concerned about the edge of the chair here to create this template. Then cut the template along the lines. Next, place your template on top of your poster and trace it with a pen so you can see the black line. Then cut the poster along the line. And then place the piece that you've cut on top of the chair to make sure that it fits correctly. And we did a pretty good job there. This is not the decoupage that we did in elementary school. This is a technique that I learned from the decoupage guru himself, Derwin Rice, the author of New Decoupage. I start by applying a thin layer of white glue with a foam brush onto the chair. Then take your paper and put it into a tub of water to relax it. It's been curled up since the dawn of time, so you really want to relax this paper. Now put a Valium into the water and it will relax it even more. Just kidding, don't do that. After about 15 seconds, 
lift the paper out of the water and place it on top of the chair where you've already applied the glue. Then using a rubber brayer, did you know this was called a brayer? I didn't know that. Squeegee all the excess glue in water. You want the brayer to be wet so that you don't rip the paper. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful chair. You can also use your hands to smooth it out. And also a sponge. Just make sure that the sponge and your fingers are wet so you don't rip the paper. So you want to get all the air bubbles out of here. When you're sure there are no more air bubbles, let it dry overnight. Welcome back. It's been 24 hours and we've let the chair dry overnight. Now we're going to apply acrylic polyurethane to the surface of the chair to protect it against typical wear and tear. Now before we apply the polyurethane, we may have to trim the poster on the chair just a little bit because what happens is when you put the poster in water, it can expand just a little bit so that when you apply it to the chair, uh, it goes over the edge. But that's no problem because we'll trim it with an X-Acto knife. Let's start applying the polyurethane. So what we're doing is taking a foam brush and applying a thin layer of acrylic polyurethane to the chair. I like using a foam brush rather than uh, a regular brush because it doesn't leave the streak marks. Okay, so that's one coat and we'll just let that dry. It just takes about 20 minutes for a coat to dry and then we'll do another coat right after that. Okay, so we've dunked our lady in water, we've glued her down, we've polyurethaned her and she's on her chair. Isn't she a beauty? She's like a mask that I'm wearing now. So let's put the chair together. And through the magic of editing, I've assembled the chair. It only took me a gazillion hours to do it. But no, it, it was really fast. Uh, but it's done and we have this piece of art for the dining room. Now you can use fine art posters, but you can use any types of posters you want. Like if you have kids who have a favorite cartoon character, you can use a poster of the cartoon character and make a chair especially for the kids. You know, it's fun that everybody can have their own chair. It's a big wow for everybody.